have Keith West Harrison and Andre West Harrison from Great Face and Body uh, happening new, well, I don't know if it's new, but it's a happening spa downtown at Broadway and Golden. Welcome, guys, to the Morning Brew. Thank you. We Thanks. say it's a new location. Yeah, so. you guys have been around for, what, two <laughs> or three been, years? We've been in town for five years. Five, yeah. years. five years. All right. Okay. It's a good <laughs> third location. We used to be those less than pleasant Santa Fe people when we first moved to the state. Oh. Oh, yeah. were you, you, they just <laughs> got named as the what, one of the snobbiest cities or something. It's probably a little better since we left. <laughs> having, <laughs> yeah. having recovered, I understand that. <laughs> But no, we, we have been here five years now. Just bought a new building a year ago, next month. It had been vacant for nine years. It's a fabulous really? building at the corner of Golden Broadway. Uh, it was built in the 20s as a tire store, mm. and then the front part was built in the 40s as a music school. But it was only vacant for nine years. So no oh water, no electric, no gas. Wow. Some of the people that lived inside were not potty trained. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it was, it was some work. Well, good. Rehabbing buildings downtown is an important thing. and. Yeah getting them up to, to speed. Well, this is great. So how do you describe your business? Uh, day spas, or is it bigger and better than that? We call it an eco-urban lifestyle market. So eco, because wow. we try and be green. We were uh -huh. just named uh, Day Spa Magazine's Green Spa of the Year for 2012. Oh, wow. Um, last year, so we do all of this fun stuff um, that just kind of makes sense and a lot of people don't think um, to do. And then it's urbanly located because after living in Santa Fe and on a mountain in Santa Cruz, California, we decided we wanted to get back to the city. And <laughs> we used it's to live a lot of French Quarter, so you know we're kind of used to the urban dwelling. Yeah, yes. okay. got it. Yeah, and it's it's just about lifestyle and market because we sell all kinds of good stuff. Yeah. I mean, what, tell us a little bit about what you guys sell and what you do because you don't only really sell stuff. No, the majority of our business is actually manufacturing skincare. So we make about 150 products that we sell through 300 spas around the world. Wow. So we're really a manufacturer. Um, organic, naturally based, um, which is kind of why we now have a meth lab. I mean, um, bath salts <laughs> lab uh, upstairs. <laughs> um, and then we do skincare. So skincare is really our, our focus. I've been in the skincare industry for 23 years. So starting in New Orleans, we got some of the celebrity clientele. And then, of course, this is a great place to be for celebrities because we do yeah. so much TV and Movie yeah, work. Like you're doing right now. Exactly. Yeah. Bless you. Mm. Bless you. <laughs> My God, she's allergic to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And speaking of, you have some breaking bad well, bath salts. Yeah, when you buy a building that's been vacant for nine years and you got to pay to rehab it, <laughs> we said, what would Walter White do? Yes. Yeah. And we realized we couldn't make meth because there's that whole jail time thing and yeah, we're not a takes, chemist. Yeah, so yeah. takes you out of your business. Guess, yeah. People like us don't do good in jail. I mean Martha Stewart <laughs> did okay but you know, no. So we decided we could make bath salts. Okay. So we came up with bathing bad. Very, very so yes, it's not the bath salts that people think, you know, cause zombieism and face eating. So it's not at all. Yeah. We, we still say don't snort them or eat them. Yeah. Um, but they're blue. But they are blue, just like, you know, Walter's or Heisenberg's famous meth, mm -hmm. yes. and they smell amazing. So they're very relaxing, very soothing. Mm. Um, then the other thing we've just started doing on weekends is we do a bad cooking class. Oh. Now, most people don't want to be bad when they cook, but <laughs> being from- But you can be bad during this class. Exactly, <laughs> so during the class we teach people how to make the meth candy, uh -huh. okay, oh. which is just rock candy, and then also how to make the bath salts. So we did bring you a slab O candy today so that we can get the crew and everybody jacked up on some sugar for oh, you. Lovely. <laughs> and you should finish the show about seven minutes early today. <laughs> Everything will speed up. Yes, so we'll speed it all up. There'll just be the color bar at the end. <laughs> the best part about it is we just drop it off and we leave. Yeah, so good luck You with have that. to deal with the aftermath. This is fun. Yeah. You guys are really funny. You could do, uh, have a comedy club in there too. Well, we've lived through a lot in the 22 years we've been together, so, yeah. you know, Humor is one of the things that we say makes a relationship work mm -hmm. and get you through things like Hurricane Katrina and yeah. you know, all the other sure. stuff. How were y'all living there during that time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, we had a hotel, spa, and coffee house at the time. We did what we call five weeks in exile, which was living in Andre's parents' basement. <laughs> we'll have to talk oh. after the show because I am <laughs> from true. Louisiana. Well, you I say mofaletta and I get hungry. Uh -huh. So, yeah. you know, it's, <laughs> the, it's the, those of you that haven't had a mofaletta, you need to find one. Yes. Um, so, no, yeah. not me. No, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different show. We're not going there. We lost uh, control of the show somewhere, uh, yeah, but that's that okay. With us. We'll recover. It's all right. Um, tell, tell me a little bit about business. I mean, you, got, you guys have such a great attitude about 
business and, and the creativity side of it. But you gotta, you know, you gotta do dollars and cents and have a practical side. I, I know. Don't you hate that? Between the accountant and the government, I get bogged down. Uh. Yeah, they're, they're, it's horrible. But yeah, no fun. Albuquerque is one of the best places we have ever been for business wise. Really? So including all the places we've worked in LA, we were in New Orleans for almost 10 years, went back and forth to the East Coast. In Albuquerque, the people are great. Um, the environment is conducive to opening a business and word of mouth is the best way to support a business mm -hmm. and you get that here. So what we always joke in the rest of the world, there's six degrees of separation in Albuquerque, it's like two. Yeah, because <laughs> it really is. you're literally one or two people away from everything that you need. We found our contractor that way. We found our architect that way. We found our housekeeper that way. It's just our a great is here with you all on Monday and Tuesday morning. Rachel, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We sponsored the TEDx talks three years sure. ago. Sure. She was one of the speakers. Yeah. We said we've she's got a, a historic building that needs guidance. Yeah. Who do we know? Ta-da. She came in like two days later for a facial. And tell us a little bit about that press. How difficult was it to restore a building in downtown Albuquerque? It's not. Restoring. It's yes. an Restoring. ongoing yeah. effort. <laughs> it's only 9,000 square feet. Oh so my gosh. So when people say, when's it going to be done, we say never. Yeah. Because the ADD Always does be. require that I start over once we're finished, so it's just <laughs> going to be a continuous process. Ongoing. We have some pictures. Can you walk us through uh, some of these? Sure. I'll have our director put them up and oh my God. see what we're doing here. All right. So oh, look at there you. There that's you are. Our, that is so staged. It, uh, not <laughs> at all. No, staged. It just happens. I was like, no, I wear that. I wear that yellow hat, yeah. and we wander around and we do things like that. And he that. always sticks his chest out. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, that works better. So this is our bad cooking class. So okay. as you'll see here, when we you know we break some candy, that's what we're actually making. Oh, okay. So those of you nice. that don't know the secret, the meth on the show is rock candy. Yeah. Made by the candy lady over in Old Town. Um, we just decided it should be more interactive. So we're going to do the... Um, oh, you're going to do it right now? We're going to let the lady do the honors. Go ahead. We'll, we'll see how much time she spent with meth. <laughs> Hit it like you're mad at it. There you there go. You go. I, see? I, I watch the show. I All right. Now, we always, we, we do joke that on the show, this would be, you know, $300,000 worth of meth. It's more like 72 cents worth of sugar. <laughs> So there you go. Look at you, Aaron. Wow. I'm a pro at this. Okay. And this is probably going to be our raspberry flavor. So there you go. Yeah. Well, let's try it. Yeah, break a piece. Yeah, does everybody have dental insurance? Just because I want to be sure that, you know, nobody hurts themselves. And It's crunchy, mm. but it's not chewy. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. So not I, you bad. Can't, you can't really go wrong with a lot of sugar and high fructose corn syrup. So as, as you see there, they're showing the, the picture we did um, get the governor caught bathing bad. Oh. So that's the Let's other thing the we make is, the yeah, there you go. There you go. Nice. Um, we did not have the gay marriage talk. We're going to leave that for a different day. Um, <laughs> but we did have the film tourism talk, and, mm. you know, Good. we're happy to say that's important. Mm -hmm. that's so we, get, we gave her some bathing bad as well. I'm assuming the governor's office is a little more relaxed now. <laughs> that's hopefully. hopefully. A little more laid back. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I think we have another picture here that... Um, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, Giancarlo Esposito. So those He's of you, the bad guy. Yeah. Well, he was till they killed him yeah. off, which yeah. we were a little upset about. <laughs> so this was actually the um, Albuquerque's first film festival. He oh, okay. was the guest, so Great Place and Body sponsored him to come in. So we knew him before he got the job. Oh, wow. All I can tell you about him, because you know, we had to hide all the pictures, is he does drink a lot of tequila. Oh, we did have he? quite a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then the great thing about, these are pictures from the UK. So we have, oh, really? We're actually, we've shipped Bathing Bad now to 19 countries in all 50 states. And there's a, a website over there called Firebox, firebox.com. Uh -huh. okay. It has sold over 1,000 bags. It's amazing. So those are some stressed out, so cool. drug-loving people in here. <laughs> I mean, bath salt loving people. That's our, <laughs> that's our New Orleans building? picture. Oh, no, New that Orleans. was our oh, New this Orleans is picture. after the so hurricane. This is, this is post-hurricane. Yeah, we had so, a reality man. TV show back then. You did. So AOL was uh, was following us that day with camera crews and everything the first day we were yeah. right back. That is crazy. I would imagine you still had a sense of humor even in the light of that oh, you had devastation. To. Yeah. I'm like, you had to because it was just, it was so overwhelming. And yeah. you just start somewhere small and work your way because if you just tried to handle the whole thing, it was just too much. You know, how else do you deal with a refrigerator that's had no electricity for five weeks no. than to laugh at it, you know? Yeah, you have you to. wrap it in some duct tape, you laugh, and then carry it to the curb. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, order so a new one. there's a section on the reality series where we're moving the refrigerator out. 
So they're filming us. You see us struggling with it, but what you don't realize is there are eight people standing around, kind of like cameras, you, all, you know. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. not not one of them helped us. Not yeah. one. Excuse it wasn't me, filmed could for two could seconds. You put the camera down and help not us. Don't one. worry, we got this. Yeah. We had to carry the entire <laughs> thing to the curb. Oh, oh my so I'm, I'm still a little bitter about that. As you can, <laughs> I can tell. tell.